before I jump into the investigation, I want to give a little background on my experience with Grand Design. I own a Grand Design and had mixed results with the Grand Design warranty and customer service. Grand Design corporate listens very well. Grand Design has exceptional customer phone service. Sadly, it ends there. The dealer had my coach for four months to do a job that Grand Design said would take two weeks at the most. So from my experience, I do understand why consumers have gotten so frustrated. Traveling around in an unsafe RV and getting the runaround from Grand Design is extremely frustrating and has led them to reach out to the federal government for resolution of their problems. The federal government is probably their last resort. It will take many months or years for them to release a recall from any manufacturer. As with manufacturing, there will always be defects. We have poor workmanship. We have poor design. We have en engineering miscalculations. And human errors are made. The most important part here is that the consumer gets their issues dealt with in a timely manner with the least amount of inconvenience. This is where the dealers and Grand Design have dropped the ball. I'm going to read the NTSB ODI report, which is the, opens up the investigation. The Office of Defects Investigation ODI has received 23 complaints alleging excessive frame flex on model year 2017 through 2023 Grand Design fifth wheel recreational trailers models momentum and solitude. 22 of these complaints allege that excessive frame flex has resulted in cargo or door openings open in transit while some objects are lost on the roadways, while six complaints also state that the slide outs extended out partially. ODI has been in contact with both Grand Design and Lippert, the frame manufacturer. Grand De Design believe that some of the frame flex generally considered to be vertical movement in the upper deck of the fifth wheel is considered normal. However, Grand Design has developed a technical service bulletin, TSB, to evaluate the concerns of excessive frame flex defined as vertical movement greater than 3 8 7 inch. Per Grand Design, the frame flex is only occurring in the upper deck of the fifth wheel and is resulting in cosmetic defects such as sidewalls, damage to cabinets, binding doors, etc. However, Lippert believes that the effects of the frame flex may also extend back to the front axle of the trailer. While Lippert provides the frames for multiple trailer manufacturers, the majority of complaints for these are on the Grand Design products. Cargo and entry doors that open and slide outs that extend while in transit increase the risk of injury or crash. While ODI is opening a preliminary investigation to evaluate the severity of this problem and to determine whether an unreasonable risk to the motor vehicle safety exists. So there you have it. Government's looking at them. If the NTSB releases a recall due to frame flex, this will be an open door for repairs to be made. I'm hoping the NTSB investigation does not result in a recall unless it's absolutely warranted. It would hurt Grand Design, the dealers, mobile repair techs, and the consumers. Consumer confidence is extremely hard to turn around once bad publicity gets out. We, the consumers who bought Grand Design RVs, are hurt the most by the accelerating decline value of our coaches. In the meantime, I'm going to winterize my RV. I'm going to put it in covered storage. And I'm going to take the next few months planning my trips around the country with or without the NTSB's blessing. I'll put the links down inside the description for some of the NTSB documents. And I hope this is informative. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Until we meet around the campfire, y'all take care now. Bye-bye.